March and April are going to be incredibly busy at work. I have so many service deliveries, which is just another name for a PD that I'm delivering. I have a lot of different meetings that I'm going to be attending and I have so many slide decks that are not done. So I'm going to take you guys on a little week in my life as I share my stress with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you get to see a little bit more of an inside of what my weeks look like because they certainly change from week to week. So right now I am currently getting ready to head to high school. Um, I'm going to be going into their autism classroom. So that's one of the initiatives that I support is autism. Um, and I have prepped together two different binders for them um, as far as their like ABA programming goes. So I'm going to go hand those to the teachers, kind of walk them through some of the items that are inside of there. And then I have a meeting this afternoon. So we've got lots of little bitty driving bits that are going to be happening. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to tackle some of the slide deck work that I need to get done because time is a ticking. Here we go. <laughs> I have officially arrived at the school and I'm sat in the parking lot. To be very honest, I'm not 100% sure how long I'm going to be in here. I think I have blocked off about an hour and a half, um, but really what I'm doing is just going through the binder with them and making sure that they have everything set up to run their intensive teaching sessions. So I have my binders that I've created for them. Um, they're all tabbed out. They have some additional resources inside of them. And so really it's just making sure that their paras have, have an understanding of how to use it. They have a long-term sub teacher that's there. Um, and so it seems kind of hard in the month of March <laughs> to try to train her in how to run an ABA style <laughs> lesson. So um, we're gonna do the best that we can with the paras. Really there's only two students who need it. The others are working academically on various types of skills and they're not gonna be running these sessions all day long. Like, let's just be honest, they need to be um, doing applicable real world experiences. This is just to help develop some of that language and then help them generalize that language overall. So I have a mint. I put on, um, my hand sanitizer, I brushed my hair. I seem like I do this every single time I go to a school. I have like those little steps using, uh, this little case that I have. So it has a bunch of items inside of it. And then I just, I just freshen myself up, make sure all is well and I'm not stinky because first impressions matter. Although this is not my first time going into the school. Okay, I'm rambling. I need to get in and get to work. Hi, my name is Bridget Spackman. I'm here from the IU. Thank you. Thank you. Today was supposed to be cloudy. It is incredibly beautiful outside right now. Um, so finished up my uh, session with the high school that I went to. I picked up Subway because I did not plan accordingly and make a sandwich at home. I also have to go grocery shopping, so that's a thing too. Um, so I picked up food. I'm gonna head to the office where I'm gonna spend the remainder of my afternoon. So I have a meeting, I have some work that I need to get done, and then actually I have two meetings, two different meetings that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and then I will be heading home, and I think we're gonna spend some time outside. We're gonna grill, we're gonna rake some of these incredibly annoying bits that we have <laughs> on our yard, and then hopefully even clean out my car because it's a little bit dirty at the moment. All right, no more chatting. Gonna go eat some delicious food. Talk to you guys later. So it's been a little bit since I've updated you last. It has been two days, actually. Um, the vlog itself is going to be spanned probably over a couple of weeks. <laughs> so today I am at an elementary school. I'm going to be here all day. It is currently 810. Um, I am here doing some coaching. So I coach for um, a grant that has been implemented for the state of Pennsylvania, um, utilizing enhanced core reading instruction. Um, 
and I'm going to be going into their classrooms, collecting implementation data, um, helping them with their decodables today. And so I'm going to be here all day. It's going to, it's going to be a very, very long day. I brought some snacks. <laughs> That's really all I have. Um, and then I always like to bring treats. And today, the treat of the day that the teachers are going to get is Welch's. <laughs> They're going to receive Welch's fruit snacks with a little note that I always leave them at their desks when I go into their classrooms. I have my cup of coffee, which I did stop for, and um, I have all my materials. So I'm just going to go ahead and head on in because I have to be set up so that I can start meeting with all of the educators. Hopefully I'll catch you guys up over lunch or something. Okay, bye. So I wish I could tell you it is the exact same day. I came home and I'm cleaning up the office, but I can't because it's the end of the week. It's actually Friday and I did not get a chance to pick up the camera at all. And to be honest, it was mainly because of my stress levels. I had so many different projects that I was working on, a lot of things that I needed to get done in a very short amount of time. And I was in schools, I was busy, I was doing other things. And so it was that stress of how in the world am I gonna make it all happen? I am happy to report that I did get two of my slide decks completely done, got those turned in, feeling good about that. I also was able to get my ECRI Train the Trainer um, vetting process completely finished, got that turned in as well. So now all I have to do is wait to hear the feedback and then anything that I need to redo and resubmit. At this point, I had a meeting this morning where we were talking with assistant superintendents, we were talking with curriculum directors, um, and basically doing a needs assessment where it was asking, what are some of that? Oh my gosh, it's Michelle. I gotta take this. Okay, bye. Okay, I took my phone call. Um, Michelle is at the airport. She just finished up her sessions with McCall and she was just kind of catching me up. If you don't know who Michelle is, I mean, I feel like you're living under a rock at this point. But, uh, pocket full of primary, she, her and I just haven't had a chance to really just talk and share the things that have been happening right now. So we just had a, a good little chat catching each other up on all of the different things. And so um, today, going back to that, we were doing a needs assessment where we were sitting down with curriculum directors, assistant superintendents, I mean, you name it, and really just talking about what are the various needs that they have for the upcoming school year. So that way we can start planning on how we're going to best support them. And so after that, ended up coming home um, and I did a little bit more work on my slide deck. So it is officially after work hours. It is Friday. I have the weekend ahead of me, but this weekend is going to be crazy, crazy busy. I have an anchor that's going to get posted up into Bridging Literacy. So for those of you that are in my Bridging Literacy community, um, I have a brand new anchor video, including um, the text and all of the things that go with it to support it in the community. So you can go and check that out. Um, but I felt kind of bad because, or I feel kind of bad because I did not have the opportunity to really share a ton that was happening this week because things were just so crazy. Like I said, lots of slide decks that I had to get done at my vetting process. I still have a lot of work that I need to get done. And so to make myself feel better, because during times of stress, when I'm having panic attacks, true story, had a panic attack in the middle of the meeting because I was like overwhelmed and stressed and it just happened. Um, so between panic attack, anxiety, stress, like tears, all of the different things, I sometimes just need things to feel tidy and organized to help me feel more grounded and centered so I don't feel like things are just falling apart around me which is where I'm currently at because my office, if you cannot tell, <laughs> is, um, sh well, she's a little messy. She's, there's, there's a lot happening. Oh, okay. Um, and so I am gonna just clean some things up, share some things with you, like as we get my office a little bit tidy. So I hope you guys enjoy this little cleaning video. Okay, so we're gonna start in this little corner. This is the corner that you guys see in my YouTube videos. And um, I just have a bunch of stuff. 
So I was putting together some binders and bought some sheet protectors for an autism classroom that I was working and supporting with because I wanted them to have just some information inside of their binders that they could reference. And I have a bunch of now these like dividers. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. But the one thing that I did want to share is that I love, love, love these pocket um, file holders. Uh, what is the actual? Guys, it does not have an actual name to it. Uh, no name because they're off of Amazon. My my way of using these is for organizing any of the units that I teach with. So like here, you can see that these are all inside of the community. Like this is winter stations. This one is um, fictional texts, shark weeks. So lots of these that I have them organized. And once I print them, I just kind of keep them inside of these drawers so that I can come back and reference them. But I had to buy new ones because I was running out and I have some things here that need to get put away properly. So I'm gonna take out those items. This one is, typically I have these labeled, which right now I don't. So I should take out my label maker and label these. Um, but I just released the poetry unit. So here's the poetry unit that I have all printed out that's now available inside of the community. And then I have all of these anchor charts that are in here because they don't fit in those. So yeah, that's what I use these for. Really, really love having these because then it makes everything just so much more neat and tidy. So the goal is to get all this stuff put away properly um, and a little bit more organized with labels like these types of sentences. Oh my heavens. All right, I'm gonna take out my label maker, which apparently I don't know where my label maker is. Right here. Take out my label maker. I'm gonna get some things together and um, label things. Always makes me feel better when I label things. Oh my pickles. This little section of my office is nice and clean now. Yes, I have a few things over here on the floor. I'm gonna pick those up in a second, but look at this. Look at that. They are labeled. All of my things are nice and neatly organized and I have a little bit of space to be able to grow. Um, I got, I went to a PDE conference um, towards the beginning of April or the beginning of March, sorry, and um, met with a company that did decodables. It's Benchmark, I believe. And so they gave us a lot of samples, which I was very thankful for. So I have this little section. And then I also got some um, lips, uh, not lips, sound wall cards. So I've got sound walls from Tools for Reading um, and it comes with all of the resources in it. I'm doing a PD on this. So I have it all organized there. So all of that is nice and neatly organized. The problem now is all of this. I, I, I have no words. <laughs> like I just have, um, I just have a lot happening right now, guys. And I just feel like you should not judge me for all my treats and my AirPod that's not put away. <laughs> so I am now going to start working on getting this little section, um, tidied. So I keep a blanket on the back of my work chair um, and it is my favorite blanket ever. So if you guys have a ton of teacher shirts, you know the shirts I'm talking about, the grade level shirts, the like the yearly shirts that you end up getting, I highly recommend that you save all of them and then put them into a blanket. So there's a company, I will put a link in the description that will make your t-shirts into a blanket. It has a nice like felt backing. Felt the right word? Probably not. I don't think felt is the right word, but you guys get the point. So it has all of the t-shirts that I had from my previous school, some with kids that have signed them, um, but you can see that they're all here. 
I also have another one from when I taught kindergarten back in Alabama, and that one's even bigger because I had way more t-shirts for that one. <laughs> so they really love t-shirts in Alabama. Um, but I highly recommend you make a t-shirt blanket out of all of your school t-shirts. Then you can save them, and it looks super cute, and then it's very, very, very comfortable. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my desk is never a long process when it comes to cleaning up. It's just a dumping ground for a bunch of different things. So I just have to put, throw away all of the trash, put all of the coffee cups downstairs, and put all the items back in the places that they're supposed to be. So it doesn't take me a long time to clean up my desk, um, and I'm just a messy person when I work apparently and then I don't throw things away and I should be way better about that but here's a desk now I am recording it without my lights on because for some reason it flickers because of the light behind my monitor um, but I have a few things that I need to scan this was from my train the trainer series that I had to do I was analyzing some data and then giving feedback on that so I need to get that put away um, once I'm finalized and finished with all of those pieces. Um, and then I have a Diet Coke because I'm about to drink a Diet Coke as I'm finishing the rest of the office. The only thing I will say is that my drawers are probably not the tidiest. And maybe you guys have some recommendations that you can give me. But like my bottom drawer is not bad. So I have some of my um, hole punchers, that laminating um, machine down there. And then I keep all of my makeup here. And I have these like top drawer things. Okay, it's a lot messier than I thought. I gotta clean that. <laughs> this little section I originally had, and I don't know if you guys remember in previous videos, I had an Ikea cart that was right there. It was just too much stuff in my office. So I decided to condense that, put some of the things downstairs um, and in the closet and then keep some of the other items that I use a little bit more frequently here. So I have like a charging block, I have some books. This could probably get a little bit more organized, but I'm not sure how to do that because the drawers for these Ikea drawers are just weird sizes. Um, this one isn't too bad. I have stickers from Teaching on the Double, Bridging Literacy. Um, I have some little items back here that I need to get to every once in a blue moon, some journals that I have here, um, and some microphone setups that I have there. This is the drawer that's a little psychotic, and I'm very sorry, but look at that. I just don't know what to do, and I know I could probably condense some of these things, but there's just so much stuff, and I hate the drawers that I have in here now. So if you have recommendations, uh, please let me know. I am looking for some new organizational system for these drawers so it's not as chaotic. But at least now I have a nice clean space to be able to work. So now to tackle some of the random things that I have on the floor. I have a lot of bags, apparently. And I have some more over here that I need to get put back and just put away. Um, so I have some of that building the literacy block, which if you did not know, I wrote a book all about your ELA workshop. Definitely go and check it out. Very, very proud of this book for sure. Um, I'll leave a link so that you guys can check it out if you want to. And then I have some things up here. So this is like a standing desk. You can lower it, raise it. It's really nice to have inside of the office, but I just have a bunch of stuff up here. Like all this, these books, random things. I've just got to just got to put everything away. So now we're going to start tackling this and hoping that it doesn't take me forever. So it's getting dark and I had to put on some artificial lighting because I live in an old home and I have zero lighting in this house. Um, so husband and the teenager who's driving. What? Like, how did that even happen guys? How do I have a 17 year old that's driving? Um, went out to go and get pizza because it's Friday and I've been cleaning and I don't plan on cooking a meal. So <laughs> I really quickly wanted to share something first. How do I get more stuff as I'm cleaning? I am notoriously a shifter. I shift piles from one location to the other <laughs> 
for a very long time before it's ever actually put away and cleaned. Please tell me that I'm not the only one that does that. Either way, I have a few papers that I have to go through, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to share because it has been my like saving grace and I'm so excited about it. I bought a, uh, a scanner. It's like a, it's a scanner guys. Um, am I saying that word right? Scanner. <laughs> I feel like it's not coming out right. But I bought a scanner, it's an Epson scanner. I think it scans up to like 25 pages at a time. So you don't have to feed one by one. You can do a pretty small stack, but it works incredibly well. And I love how compact it is. Now it does come with like a USB-C and it has, I don't know, is that a USB? It's a, no, I don't, mm, like I, I, I don't know what that is. It's whatever this thing is. Um, but this plugs into the scanner, the USB-C plugs into your laptop and you can scan it. You can just use this because it's battery operated. So if it's charged, you can go ahead and just take it on the road and scan it to scan documents wherever you are. However, it does have a power block as well. And when you put this sucker on, y'all, it scans so darn fast, it's fantastic. Um, it has allowed me to get rid of so much stuff that I've been like storing because I haven't had a way of making it digital. So now I am officially taking everything digital. And you're probably thinking, Bridget, you just showed us an entire drawer system with all this stuff <laughs> that's in these little envelopes. Yes, I know. But to be fair, I use really nice paper. I don't want to have to pay for ink again. And I use those for videos and um, Instagram posts. And when I'm on phone calls with teachers and I want to show them different materials, I can just pull those out. So you got to give me a little bit of credit there. But I don't print out every single thing. It's mostly like the really big units that I'm working through. So have the Epson scanner. I'm going to leave a link to it in case you want to go and check it out. It was very well worth it. Highly recommend that you go and get one. Go digital, get rid of all your binders. It is the most glorious thing ever. Okay, I'm going to um, try to get all these things put away. <laughs> and then I, um, I'm gonna go eat some pizza. So hopefully I'll show you this to you a little bit later on. Okay. So looking at the office like this, I feel like I've done a pretty darn good job. So on the standing desk, I had so many books and reference materials that I had to put away. I have been doing a lot of research when it comes to some of the slide decks that I've had to, had to build up. So I just kind of leave things everywhere. So I ended up putting them away. I have one area in this closet that I shall show you is not too tidy but i have this one little section up here and in this little section are some of the books that i have to reference from time to time i have not fully read explicit instruction by anita archer so that is one that i'm going to be reading this summer this one which is supercharged is a professional development book on just how to build engaging sessions for staff or the participants that are joining your professional development and then i have all my colored paper which is stacked over here I really don't like the color of this light <laughs> it's very very yellow Ugh, it looks terrible but that's where those um all those books live the other area that I have in my office is going to be this little backdrop area that you guys see these in videos but I have some of my spiral books back here so these are my letter um unit books that I have. I also have some common core books that are in there and I reference those constantly. So I leave those in that section there. So luckily I was able to clear up the section fairly quickly. Um, so this little area that you see in this corner when in the office is my husband's side of the office. And then that desk over there is my personal desk that I use. Now I do use this desk from time to time especially when I'm recording. 
I will use that desk, but it lives kind of in this general area. So we have two monitors there. We have a smaller one and then a large one that I will use when I am recording. I have a teleprompter that I will use from time to time that just has guiding points for me um, so that I don't ramble and then I don't also lose track of what I'm saying because that tends to happen quite often. And then we have our camera, which is over here. So all of those items are in this section. <laughs> and then of course the standing desk, which is uh, from Uline and it is fantastic. I love, love, love the standing desk. So now the section of the office is cleared up. I still have my area over here. Sorry for the strobing lights that I have cleared up. And now I just have a few other things because I'm a shifter and I shift things from one area to another that I have to finish up. It is now the next day because I just could not be bothered <laughs> to pick up the camera after I was eating my pizza. It was very delicious. I got it from Little Caesars. I don't discriminate against pizza. I love all pizza. I love school pizza. I love Little Caesars pizza and I love fancy pizza. So <laughs> I really enjoyed my pizza last night. Um, but I will say that the office is looking flipping fantastic. It is nice and clean just in time for us to have to completely ruin it and get ready for me to film an anchor. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be really good about cleaning up after myself so that I can ensure that this office stays nice and clean for the very hectic week that I have ahead of me. So let me uh, turn you guys around and show you our, our hard work, all of the things that we did yesterday to make sure that this office was looking good. Here we go. Look at that sunshine coming in. I mean, it gets bright. <laughs> so here's the office guys now looking so much better. As you walk in, you have a mirror um, that I use to take outfit of the days that no one really cares about probably, but I still do it anyways. Uh, and then I, we have my husband's side. So all cleared up of any form of papers. We keep a calendar up here to note any of the things that we have going on for bridging literacy, things that we have to do um, on that end and also for the writing bridge. And then he has some notebooks. They're all bridging literacy notebooks. So he has his notebooks there that he keeps track of, but it's all nice and tidy. I have this out because this is what this camera that you're I'm using right now goes into. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna put it away. And then on my end, I mean, look how much more tiny that is. It is so much better and I feel better when I come in and I don't have a bunch of stuff that I'm having to sift through. So I have my anchors up, ready to go for me to record in just a little bit. Everything up here, those are all just little gadgets. So Blaine and I, we made all of the Harry Potter books. They're so cute and then he drew that painting for me. <laughs> so, um, and then if I turn around, we have this area all nice and tiny and there's nothing on the floor. Oh, that's such a good feeling. So that is it. That is the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the hot mess that this video ended up becoming. And it's just that time of the year where things are a little bit busy. We have testing season that's coming up very, very quickly. So everybody's having to do all of their meetings for that to get prepared for it. You have report cards, you have parent-teacher conferences, you have spring break. There's just a lot going on. And while I may not be inside of the classroom, I am still working in the schools and they're just trying to fit all of the professional development, the coaching, everything that I'm doing within this very short amount of time. And I'm working with 35 school districts. So let me just kind of keep that in your head. Like as <laughs> I'm talking about not being in the schools, I'm still trying to spread myself across so many different people um, who are trying to use our services, which is fantastic. And we want them to be able to do that, but it's still crazy for me nonetheless. 
anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for being so patient with me. Uh, and thanks for just cleaning up the office with me because I really needed this place to look a little, look and feel a little bit better because it was stressing me out. Every time I came in here, it did not feel like a nice welcoming space where I could just think and not feel overwhelmed. I was feeling overwhelmed just by looking at all the shart <laughs> that was everywhere. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back next week with another video. I hope you are all well, and I hope you are taking care of yourself this time of the year. And hopefully you've also gotten a little bit extra sleep by the time you watch this video. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will catch you all next time.